Greetings. This devotion is for the 28th of August, and the reading comes from Exodus 32, verses 15 through 20. Then Moses turned and went down from the mountain, carrying the two tablets of the covenant in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, written on front and on the back. The tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God engraved upon the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, It is not the sound made by victors or the sound made by losers. It is the sound of revelers that I hear. As soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and dancing, Moses' anger burned hot. He threw the tablets from his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made, burned it with fire, ground it to powder, scattered it on the water, and made the Israelites drink it. Okay. <laughs> so we kind of know this story, right? There, there's been... Oh, my gracious. Uh, a lot of jokes right around, you know, Moses um, breaking the tablets, or maybe there were 15 commandments and Moses broke five of them, or it's all over the place, right? So we've, we've kind of heard this, but still think about this for a second. We know the Israelites turned from God. Moses was angry. Even in, in the text, right? <laughs> Moses' anger burned hot. Ooh. And he did, right? Even to the point of making him drink water with dust, dust powder in it, right? He was angry. Suppose you could say, well, the Israelites kind of deserved it. They were doing the wrong thing. Well, they were. Deserve is a strong word always, right? It, 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 there, there were consequences, see? This is where I'm going. There were consequences for this anger. There were consequences for the Israelites. But, but I'm, I'm looking at Moses here. There were consequences for him. A little later, Moses is back up the mountain with God, remaking those tablets. Remember, Moses didn't get into the land flowing with milk and honey. He never saw it. There were consequences to anger. We live, we live in a society that wants to be without consequence. It's, it's kind of a scary thing. Oh, any, any parent who has tried to raise children tries to help them understand there's consequences to actions, right? There's consequences for all things. And we try to kind of wipe that away. Doesn't work that way, right? Life has consequences. And we see that here with Moses, God's people, and God. Now, it's not to say God stopped loving his people. That's never the case. They got there to the land of milk and honey. They did. Okay? But they had to live. They had to live with their actions. They had to live with the consequences of their actions. Join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.